Hey guys, thanks for coming back and watching more videos here on the channel. Uh, today we got something from Xinhua, which, you know, if you're familiar at all with Xinhua, it's uh, typically you get swords, right? That's a, it's a common brand on, on Bud K's website for buying Japanese style swords. Uh, I found this pocket knife flipper, the Nanashi, Nanashi, I guess, uh, assisted opening pocket knife. Um, I'd never tried a pocket knife from Shinwa. I've had some of their swords over the years and uh, thought, hey, why not? Let's, uh, let's try a pocket knife. Uh, the interesting thing is, you know, you got the, you got the oriental characters on there. I'm guessing that's uh, Japanese, but I, maybe it's Chinese. I don't know. Um, and then you've got that kind of Persian style blade with the up sweep at, to the tip. So interesting, interesting design. Let's pull it out. <clears throat> now this guy was on sale. Um, I think it was two, you know, buy one, get one. So, uh, buy one, get one deal was seven bucks a piece, $14 for two of them. So there you go. I think normally they're 15 bucks each. So I went ahead and picked one up. And there you see the Shinwa. You do ha get a deep carry pocket clip, which is nice. Uh, I think it is only going to be, yeah, it's it's only uh, right hand tip down carry. So if you like anything other than that, well, I guess you're screwed. Uh, don't get this knife. But, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of the, the stupid characters on there. I mean, I, you know, I, I would not elect to put that on there. I think it'd be better just black. Um, it is, uh, let me get my hand behind here and let this focus. Uh, it is G10, and I don't know why we're not having any luck focusing here. There we are. Um, so there you go, you got the G10. It's not really much texture to it. Uh, it is sculpted back here at the back where the lanyard hole is, uh, and that looks fairly attractive. You've got a titanium coated blade, or so they say. Uh, nice big open design, so easy to clean, which is nice. And then you got the option of either flipper or thumb stud for deployment. So let's try the flipper first. See how she comes out. First, first flip. Usually the first flip is not good, especially on the cheaper knives. But we'll we'll see if we're pleasantly surprised here. Ooh. Did it lock? Let's see if it locked. No, it did not. Oops. And here I go messing with my camera. It did not it did not come all the way out, so let's try that one more time. Now it locked. I heard the click. Okay, so there you have it. There is the knife. And let's see if I can get my hand behind here again so you can read the text on here. I don't know why this thing is having so much trouble focusing. All right, well, maybe it's not going to focus. It says, uh, it says Shinwa on that side, and on this side, nothing. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of text on there, which, you know, I think, I think that looks nice and sleek and, and good. Um, you do have quite the protrusion for the, the liner lock system there, and you do have jimping on there. Uh, it's easy to get a hold of, and then the, the spring on it isn't really all that stout. Uh, I mean, it, it does start to engage right there, but it's not a super strong spring. So, for whatever that's worth, uh, a lot of the other spring-assisted knives I've gotten from Bud K have been uh, much uh, stronger. So here we're going to go ahead and try the thumb stud. Flips right out. So either way works equally well. Let's try push button on the flipper. Yep. So really, any of that any of that works just fine, and you do have enough relief here to get your thumb in there just fine and flip that guy out. So that's good. Now, the question is, is this thing comfortable in the hand? Um, man, I, you know, I was worried about that protrusion of the the liner lock there, and it is a problem. Um, it is, you know, when you put your finger on there. It, it is digging in, so that's not very comfortable. They, I don't think they need it sticking out that far, but, you know, it is what it is. So, and you do have a little bit of ribbing back here on the, on the, 
body of the, of the knife. Okay, um, I think I got some paper out here. Let's see if she, let's see if it came sharp from from Shinwa. Um, I have I have an expectation that it'll it'll be sharp, and that's just because you know even some of their moderately priced swords have been pretty sharp. You know, not razor sharp, but pretty sharp. So I expect at least pretty sharp for their seven dollar knife here, but we'll see. Oh yeah. It's it's sharp. Well, until I screwed up there, but first cut was good. Maybe that was just a fluke. Alright, let's try a corner. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It is yeah. Blame it on the user. Yeah, it's 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 sharp. Now we got a little stop right there, but, you know, pretty, pretty good for a $7 knife. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get out a piece of paracord here and see, see how it does on the paracord test here. If we can get out a piece that isn't all wrapped up. There we go. There we go. All right. So... Try pull through or push through. <clears throat> took effort. That took quite a bit of effort. So not not the greatest on the push through. Let's try slice. Slice was nice. Took very little effort. Very very little effort. And we're losing light here. Sorry about that, guys. It's getting to be dusk here in Ohio. But yeah, there you go. Slice was very nice. No effort. Well, little effort, we'll say. Very, very little. And then magazine paper. Nice. Let's get it going here. There you go. Yeah, so pretty good. Pretty good for the blade. Um, I don't really have much to complain about, especially at, at $7. So, I mean, it comes pretty sharp. And... Uh, you know, it, it's not too weighty. I don't know. There's no skeletonization in there that I can see. Um, but it's still, it's not bad. It's not, it's not overly heavy. And it comes right out. It goes right back in. It's not, it's not one of those spring-assisted knives that is really hard to push back in. I mean, yeah, I like it. I like that. For $7, that is a, that is a like. So if you guys see these again on Bud K for 7 bucks. I'd say pick one up, give it a try. I mean, it could be your your backup knife or just, you know, one you don't really care about if, if it gets lost, you know. Take it on a canoeing trip with you. But, all right, I'll put that away. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of the Shinwa Nanashi, and uh, I'll see you next time.